Hi, Mum Yvonne. Hello, my darling. How are you? I'm doing so great. Good, thank thank you. you for giving us your time this morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you. So we are in a very beautiful time in our country. We are preparing for elections. And you are the Princess of Africa. You have a rich history and understanding of our South African entertainment history. Can you share for us what are your hopes for the next 30 years in music and entertainment in South Africa? 30 years of democracy, it's not a child's play. It has been a long walk to this freedom. And I always say um, it's important that we embrace and, um, and think about what our forefathers wanted for us. Um, freedom has brought so many changes to our people, but yet there's still young people who can't go wearing their mini skirts in the street. Uh, grandmothers uh, being chastised and raped, two-year-olds being, uh, you know, molested. And you ask yourself, is this the democracy that we've, we're yearning for? Mm -hmm. So I want to say to the leaders and just to our people, let's go back to our drawing board. Mm -hmm. During apartheid, we looked out for one another. We were there. We protected each other. And why can't we do that now when it's 30 years? But um, uh, let me stop lamenting and say, <laughs> We have some things have been done. Uh, the creative the industry, in particular, which is sort of you know lagging behind or not much being done for this industry, and yet we had people like Mama Mary Magela, Hugh Masigela, Kaifa Semenya. Mary Magela was the very first South African in 1963 when I was not even born to go and speak about the atrocities that were happening in South Africa at the UN. So the creative industry has done a lot for this country, not only for South Africa but for different countries. So I want to say to the young people who want to be in the creative industry. The playing field has been leveled and I want to urge them to be anything that you want to be as a young girl. I know some have gone to school, you know, to study for music and some are in this whole creative industry thing, whether you want to be a filmmaker or a sculptor or animation, it has to be done and we need support from the powers that be, from big corporates, from the government. All I, I always say is that uh, people don't want to hand out. People mm. want to hand up, level the playing field for them, make the environment conducive for our young people to spread their wings like they're doing now. Quite a music was there, bubblegum music was there, Stuttgart Beach music, Amam uh, Ondo. And now we've got uh, Amapiano taking the world by storm. So I want to say to the young people, the sky is not the limit. You can go on the other side and do what you want to be and never have anyone deter you from wanting to be what you want to be. 30 years of freedom, things are, we still need to fix other things, but I think the creative industry is doing a lot and we just need support from our government, from sponsors, from the business, because we bring money so that we're able to pay our taxes as well and pay our UIFs and have some retirement annuity. We don't want to see the people in the creative industry constantly being called vagrants or dying poppers. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.